Hello everybody, I'm that one Ken. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you a lesson, a life lesson. One that will hopefully help you in your life. Or yeah, if you're if you're an artist or you're a beginner artist, be, be, beginner artist, hi. Um <laughs> we already started, we can't restart. All right, uh if you're a beginner artist or you're just struggling, I got a cool video for you, which is this one. So keep watching. Anyway, uh, without further ado, don't buy how to draw books, at least in the beginning. That's the point of this whole video. That's my TED talk. We're going to get into why. Or instead of a TED talk, we're going to call it a Fred talk so I don't get copyright claimed. I'm going to do the whole video with a really high pitched voice like Fred. Anyway, um, yeah, so this, this particularly has to do with manga or anime, because I know a lot of artists really want to do manga or anime. There's just something about the style that's really cool. I wanted to draw the style. I was one of those kids. I was a little baby boy. I saw Inuyasha. I was like, I want to do that. I want to draw that. It looks cool. Um, and I tried. It looked terrible. But I, uh, in my beginning search for how to become a better artist... I'm like a lot of kids, or a lot of artists. I don't know why I keep saying kids. I'm, <laughs> I'm an old man. Um, a lot of artists are always looking for the answers. They're always looking for some secret pathway that will lead them to being a better artist. And uh, I think the number one door for this pathway would be how to draw books. Now, take everything you're about to hear with a grain of salt, because I, I might just be a moron. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to give anyone any false falsehoods. Uh, false falsehoods, that's a, that's a double negative, um, I don't want to give anyone, anyone any falsehoods, um, so take this with a grain of salt, I don't know what I'm talking about, hopefully this is funny, so, you know, I bought a bunch of how to draw books when I first started learning how to draw, when I first started taking it seriously, bought a bunch of them, uh, went to Hobby Lobby, went to Barnes & Noble, just searched for any sort of drawing book I possibly could find, and the ones I'm talking about, the specific ones, are the how to draw books, how to draw anime, how to draw manga, um, how to draw cartoons. I'm not going to say any specific names. I'm not going to say any authors out of respect because I don't want to bash anybody. But a lot of these books are awful. They are terrible, especially for a beginner artist. Because what a lot of them do is they only teach you how to put lines together in order to form a symbol that hopefully looks like a dinosaur or a manga girl or something you know they'll teach you step by step you draw a circle you draw a line you draw another line you draw another circle and hopefully by the end of it it looks like an anime girl and to me this doesn't seem to be teaching you anything because you are learning how to draw the lines but you're not really learning what the lines mean and this is super important because you can't just you can't just draw a bunch of things and not explain what they what they mean because there's a lot to drawing that I think a lot of these art books completely gloss over, and I'm not even talking like anatomy or anything, because a lot of them are just like, oh yeah, draw a circle, draw a box, there you go, you got boobies, and it's like, what? <laughs> they don't even explain what any, half the lines are, they're just like, yeah, if you want to draw a body, it's just a box and a box and some other boxes, that's it, and then some lines, there you go, boom, you're you're an art master, Here, here's, your, here's your $25 book, you can eat it now, because you're, you're a master, you don't need it anymore. I come from a strange culture where we eat books when we're done with them. We poop a lot because we have a high fiber. Anyway, <laughs> can, you, can you tell I'm not using a script? Um, a lot of these books I feel like are detrimental and turn away more artists than they help because they're not teaching them gesture. They're not teaching them poses. They're not teaching them opposing line or poses. Yeah, opposing, opposing curve theory. They're not teaching them anything really important. And... They're not teaching you how to draw things on your own. Most importantly, that's what they're not teaching you, is how to how to take building blocks and turn them into something from your imagination. Um, what they're teaching you is how to draw something in a specific angle, from a specific uh, genre. Like, they'll teach you how to draw a manga dude with some cool abs, uh, big muscles. But after you're done drawing that, you didn't really learn anything. Because you can't draw him from any other angle. You can't draw him throwing a punch. You can't draw him making any sort of expression or jumping or doing anything. All you've learned how to do is just how to draw a dude facing the camera. And then they'll teach you how to draw from the side. 
and then they'll teach you how to draw the three quarters perspective. But it, it's not it's not explaining anything for the most part. I'm talking about like 80% of drawing books don't really teach you anything important. They just teach you how to put lines together and that's great. If you want to draw the same pose for <laughs> for a million different characters, go for it. That's awesome. Um, so here's my advice to you. Um, just to save you time, to save you money, to save your sanity, just, just go on Google, go on Pinterest, look up stuff that you like. If there's a cartoon, a manga, an anime, draw those characters, draw those things. It, it's going to look bad in the beginning. But there's no magic pill. There's no magic thing that's gonna like teach you how to how to just draw like you know. And I think I feel like that's what these books promise you is that oh by the end of this you'll be a master. And then by the end of it you're like I don't know anything. I only know how to draw this one pose and it, it's a stupid boring pose too. It's not exciting at all. And then after you get comfortable with drawing lines and shapes and forms and stuff like that, and you feel like you're ready to take it to the next step. Go on YouTube. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm advertising YouTube here. But um, I, I think YouTube is a great place to learn literally anything. There's so many people on there. I feel like YouTube kind of gets a bad rap because of all like the shitty people who are on there and they give it a bad reputation. But there's so many people on there who are very talented and want to teach you. Like they, they have awesome skill and they'll teach you for free. They'll do it for free. And uh, that's how I learned. I watched... Uh, Keenan Lafferty, Lavender Town, Drama Jaza, like there's so many awesome people on here, and I'll leave links to everyone down below. Uh, there's so many awesome people that will teach you every every facet of art you can possibly imagine is on YouTube, and it will save you so much time and so much money and so much frustration. <laughs> and uh, hopefully one day I'll get good enough to make tutorials. If you're listening to this in 2060. To uh, check out my tutorial playlist, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't take me that long. But um, yeah. So once you feel like you're comfortable and maybe you have some disposable income, then finally you can you can check out how to draw books, see what they have. Maybe you can incorporate it into your style somehow. But I have seen so many, especially like how to draw manga. But I, I, I'm not gonna show any because. I don't want to get like a lawsuit or something, but some of them just like god awful, and you know what I'm talking about. A lot of it's like American authors who who cannot draw anime, they cannot draw manga. They draw like this goofy, like doppelganger of it. Again, not saying names, but you you, you might know what I'm talking about. But there's some people who just oh, it's and they're teaching you it wrong. They're teaching you how to draw stuff like awful. But yeah, hopefully you guys had a. A good laugh. Hopefully, I taught you some some good tips. Uh, I can't like I I can't really teach you how to draw because I'm still figuring it out. But hopefully, this is something that will save you some time, save you some money. Because I just have like a stack. I have a stack of these these shitty books, and I can't return them because it's been too long. But oh my god, they're just staring at me. I try to sleep. I see them in my nightmares. These books. These goofy ass anime books. With the girls with the gigantic eyes that are way too big for their head. But it teaches you how to draw that. It doesn't make any sense. Or some of them, like, the cover looks way better than the actual book. Like, the cover's, like, beautiful. Like, it's done by a completely different person. So, yeah. That's my little rant on how to draw books and why not to buy them. Because they're poopy. And they really don't teach you anything. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm that one cat. Uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. Uh, purchase my how to draw book on Amazon for $200, 200 US dollars, sorry, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, check out my Patreon, check out my Instagram, um, follow me on Twitter, just don't follow me home, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>